are an integral part of the week. And this night is a very, very special night. We were looking for photographs to augment a collection we have currently ongoing in the library. If you haven't visited, I'd say you should go down and have a look at it. It's really specialist and it's worth a visit. So whilst we were kind of working out how we'd get more photographs, we were talking to Jeannie, who's involved with Eddie and Ali and Tanya White on um, collecting old photographs on Facebook. So one thing led to another. So here we are tonight, in a sense, in stereo, because the first presentation will be stills and the second presentation will be films by Ali White. And the stills were put together by Eddie Brown. And Jeannie has collated a lot of information on the stills. The second section of the show, then, Ali will be showing some of his uh, films. Now, you know when we were kids, and you'd hear this talk about a doctor. A doctor would come, and he'd have the needle. And we'd all be scared. Well, now it's all changed. The doctor has a camera, and we're still scared. <laughs> well, Ali White is the man with the camera. But some time back, uh, myself and Ali got together, and there was, I think at that stage, over 2,000 photographs up on Facebook of Old Westport. And he said to me, how are we going to exhibit these photographs? What can we do with them? Uh, some of them were pretty bad quality, so we couldn't have them blown up and have an exhibition of photographs as such. So he says, why not do a slideshow and invite people to come and see it? So the next problem was, how do you get the photographs from Facebook down? It's not the easiest uh, place in the world to take photographs down from, but we took them down anyway. And it's all thanks to the team that we have here, right? They were all behind it. I put the show together, but that's just purely from a technical point of view. Without this team, I couldn't have done it. Oh, no, I can't remember. Did you ever drink in there? I don't think I drink. Yeah, I, I can probably, I didn't drink anyway. I certainly never drank. Yeah. Seamus Gavin. I think that's Kieran, Kieran Kelly, Cluna Mills. How many would you have then when you'd be after the bog? Three or four? Uh, well, you've got to tell them uh, that uh, you'd go after being in the bog. You'd have... And so you? No. Yes. What do I say about what say uh, about the Queen of England, the wood court and everything? She was the court in the woods in Ari Jogger. Uh, Bush he was he was caught I know, but he was he had, he had a lot of voice. Oh I used to gossip here, I remember where the first radio, radio air, and we used to put on that news the war was on at the time. And and don't forget talking. Did you hear Lord Ha? I did. I used to love to hear him. 
e io ero solo più come vai così e ero stuoi e vanno qui in dei anni e io dico oh sta bene ma fai il tempo di te qui oh il bello il bello del qui il bello del sottotitolo oh il bello del sottotitolo e i sedi ruffi che si chiedono il tempo e i sedi ruffi che si chiedono il tempo e quindi è bene e quindi è bene e io ho detto che è qui 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 Hi, Dave. Joy, please. Come for you, I don't know. Don't you know? Kelly Slaver House and Maeve Kelly South Mel was unavoidably absent wherever she was. A new cinema theatre, as it was grandly called in its time, <laughs> operated <laughs> by. Four pounds each. <laughs> yeah, well, they went up from a throp and a bit to four pounds for the matinee at one stage. But anyway, uh, this. Uh, um, if anyone in the audience tonight ever doubted the value of uh, photographic and film archives, I'm quite certain that after this fabulous show tonight, that doubt is totally gone. And everyone realized the immense value of what the sample of which we've seen here tonight. So the first thing I, uh, I have to do is sincerely thank Dr. Oliver White, known locally as Ali, his daughter Tanya, Eddie Brown, and Jeannie, and the backup man there, Pat Dunning, uh, for, for their work generally, a sample of, of which you, you've seen tonight. And it's just a sample, as Ali outlined in the beginning. And he also pointed out, and I hope people heed him, the value of family records preserving them and having them uh, recorded for posterity. Uh, so the first thing I, I, I ask is that you give a huge round of applause to the panel. Uh, in, in that regard, uh, all their work wouldn't be possible without the contribution and the support and cooperation of many, many people who have contributed photographs to the Facebook page and to uh, Eddie's collections. And, uh, and, and the people who helped Jeannie uh, the, uh, provide the caption details for the photographs. Now, even in the caption details alone, you will realize the huge amount of work that's involved in getting accurate records of for the, this type of collection. Uh, so special thanks to everyone who has helped in this work. Uh, uh, you know, I was thinking there tonight when, the, when one of the, the, the prints this, uh, showed 
Pat Welch of McLaughlin's studio across the road in Chop Street and his family members. The Welch family were very involved in theatrical and music productions in the stage of the Old Town Hall. In fact, the Pat Welch you saw in that photograph earlier tonight collapsed and died on this spot. Uh, so... Move over, Martin. Move over. <laughs>